All right, guys, this is Dan again. This is kind of an update video on my 210 main display, 229 displays, and one sump filtration on behind the wall. Um, I've had this tank going for about, I don't know, three weeks now. Um, everybody's doing pretty good. My carpet anemone is uh, doing awesome. I was a little worried about him in the move, but he did good. Uh, I got my little Valentini puffer over here. That, but everybody settled in pretty good. My snowflake finally is eating pretty consistently, so that's good. I got my golden head there, and then my uh, dog face, uh, Rufus over there. And uh, so everybody's doing pretty good. So because I've basically got four aquariums draining off, if the power goes out, uh, the 229s, the main 210, and then my 40 gallon uh, first part of my sump here is all draining into my final sump here. Uh, I have a little bit of a water volume problem. It does handle all the water, but it is very tight. And if I fill it up too much, um, it is close to overfilling the tank. Uh, so today's video is basically going to be on an auto top off that I'm putting in. So I don't have to uh, keep it as full. And uh, basically just to give me a little bit better of a safety on my water volume. Um, I also installed a, one of these uh, Inkbird timers or uh, temperature controllers. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, I've got my, you know, it's got uh, it's got a heating and a cooling port. Uh, you set the temperature where you want it. That took a little bit of something or a little bit to figure out. No big deal once I got it figured out. Um, the only thing I don't like about this, it has to drop a full degree, so it has to go down to 76 to turn on the heater and it has to go up to 78 to turn on the cooler. So I've got a two degree difference. I wish that was a little tighter, um, but uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, so basically I've got my fan here that is running and just uh, pushes air across the top of my one sump and cools it right down if it needs to. And then my heater in the uh, other part of the sump if it gets too cold. And that's working pretty well. So today's video is going to be on this auto top off, so we'll get to it. So to build this auto top off, I had to buy a couple things and I had a couple things. Um, five gallon bucket. I uh, went ahead and bought this little DC uh, water pump. We'll see how it does. Um, it's rated from anywhere from 6 volts to 18 volts. I'm going to use a 9 volt inverter to power this. And then uh, I actually bought a five pack of these water level sensors. Uh, that was like 10 bucks. I think that was maybe 12 bucks. And my relay here was gonna seven bucks. Um, everything else I had, um, I found an old inverter. Uh, you can't really see it, but this is uh, pushing nine volts, uh, 350 milliamps. Uh, so it should power it just fine. Uh, some loose wire I had. And then uh, this is actually the uh, water level sensor uh, for my pump. And I'm actually just gonna build a little bracket off of here to hold these other two water level sensors on that same bracket. So it should work out pretty good. So. So this bracket I made for with my float sensors is actually my pump bracket that has the run out of water sensor already. And I just cut a piece of plexiglass, drilled a couple holes in it uh, to mount my other two float sensors off the same bracket. So that ended up working pretty slick. All right, guys, so this is my auto top off. Um, everything I'm using is off of a 12 volt. I'm gonna plug this in. So right now I'm pumping because this float is down. So if it fills, it will shut the pump off. If this is running and this switch goes bad and it comes up to this switch and this switch overfills, it will also shut it off. So that's how I ran this thing. And uh, it's actually working pretty good. The only other thing I might add is one more of these float switches and put it in the bottom with my pump and connect it to my pump. So if that container ever runs out of water, I don't run my pump dry. The other backup I'm going to put on is I'm going to put a timer backup on my outlet so it'll only run for five minutes a day. 
because uh, that's all it's going to need with what it's pumping. Uh, that way, no matter what, if one of my switches goes bad, both of my switches go bad, it's only going to pump for five minutes and then it's going to shut off because of the timer. Okay, so I've been running my auto top off for about a week now. Uh, I got a digital timer on there. I actually set it for four different times, like every six hours during the day. Uh, because doing it once a day, <clears throat> my sensors are too close together. And I was actually shutting the pump, pump off every once in a while. So I ended up changing that, doing it four times a day now. And uh, that seems to be working pretty good. Okay, so on this relay, a better explanation of how this works. Uh, I've got my positive coming in here to this side. This is my exciter. These two wires are my exciters to transfer the main power through the relay. So this right here is my power coming in from the inverter. I ran a jumper wire from here to here. Okay, that's power for my pump right there. My ground is coming up to here because this is would be the ground for my relay or, or for my pump I'm sorry but I needed a ground to run through my sensors to excite the relay so I got my ground and then my ground coming back along those two wires going to my sensors so it's going in the one sensor out of that sensor into the other sensor and out that sensor and coming back and that wire is ran down here to excite my relay. So hopefully that makes sense. So once this grounds through my sensors, this triggers the relay and transfers these two poles over to my other side to these two poles, which is my pump. So And again, the reason I'm using that relay is so, even though this is a pretty light duty pump, I don't want the current of my pump running in my fish tank. My pump takes a lot more current or amperage than this relay takes to excite. So that's why I'm using the relay. So, so far it's worked pretty good. Once I put it on, uh, coming on four times a day I haven't had any problems so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it hit like subscribe um, got a lot of other videos check it out and uh, have a good one guys later